Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White, September 3rd, a school for mind and morals. Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments are made manifest. For thy judgments are made manifest. Great and marvelous are thy works. A school for mind and morals. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of Saints. Revelation chapter 15, verse 3. The great architect has formed and fashioned the scenes of nature that they may have an important bearing upon man's intellectual and moral character. These are to be God's school to educate the mind and morals. Here the mind may have a vast field for study in the display of the majestic works of the infinite one. The rocks are among the precious things of earth, containing treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In the rocks and mountains are registered the fact that God did destroy the wicked from off the earth by a flood. Men thought themselves wiser than God and altogether too wise to obey the statutes and precepts of Jehovah. The rich things of earth which God had given them did not lead them to obedience, but away from obedience, because they misused their choice favors of heaven and made the blessings given them of God objects to separate from God. And because they became satanic in their nature rather than divine, the Lord sent the flood of waters upon the old world. God is full of love and plenteous in mercy, but he will by no means acquit those who neglect the great salvation he has provided. The long-lived antediluvians were swept from the earth because they made void the divine law. God will not again bring from the heavens above and the earth beneath waters as his weapons to use in the destruction of the world. But when next his vengeance shall be poured out against those who despise his authority, they will be destroyed by fire, concealed in the bowels of the earth, awakened into intense activity by fires from heaven above. Then, from the purified earth shall arise a song of praise, blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. And everyone who has made the heavenly treasure the first consideration will join in the glad, triumphant strain. Our High Calling, September 3rd. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.